<laughs> what am I? Well, since the title has the name of the video in it, you obviously know I was a wake lock. And um, you may ask yourself, you know, what exactly is a wake lock? So let me get to that shortly. You know, being around the Android community for so many years, um, I feel that the wake lock is the number one cause for unknown battery loss. You know, I've seen countless threads like, hey, you know, I'm only getting four hours of battery. What am I doing wrong? I look at my battery stats and everything seems to be okay. So let's get something out of the way here. Wake lock is not a bad thing. It's just the way it's implemented sometimes make it appear it's a bad thing or what it's doing to your device causes bad things. So wake locks are power management systems for the Android operating system. Wake locks can be used to keep your CPU running and also prevent your screen from dimming or you may even see it wake up your phone from a complete sleep. A lot of applications love to use it, especially if it's in the background looking for information. What it would do is wake up your device. Even if you don't see it, it'll wake up the CPU to pull for more information, to push through a message if something's out there for you. So what does this mean for me? So a wake lock, if not implemented correctly on the application side, can cut down your battery life down by two hours. And that is a true statement. So what happens is this application consistently in the background wakes up, wakes your phone up and looks for information and it doesn't do it correctly. So what happens is causes your phone to come out of sleep mode to look for this information and then it kills your battery. And some applications that are designed poorly, <clears throat> Facebook, will consistently pull information over and over again, even if you don't have an option to opt out of polling or even have a notification period. Because some applications say, hey, you know what? Every 10 minutes, let's poll. Every 15 minutes, let's poll. Well, some of these applications don't even give you that option and they poll at some arbitrary amount of time. And these applications really cause a huge hit to your battery life. So a lot of people say, you know, what about Gmail? What about, you know, what about Google Hangouts and Google Plus? Well, those do it too, but it's designed with an Android and Android is meant to cater to those. And it's actually called Google services when you check out your battery and that never should be up near your screen or, you know, above Android system, but it's designed to do that. And those are okay. I mean, of course it's going to kill battery, but your device is designed to have those Google services running in the background, so those are okay. Now, out of those applications, forgive me if I'm wrong, because I know you will, um, I don't know of one that actually turns your screen on when you get a message. Google Hangouts usually does a notification, and so does Gmail. Um, it shouldn't turn on your screen, because once it turns your screen on, that's incurring more battery usage. So how do I find out if I have an application with a wake lock problem? Well, the first thing is, if you're noticing your battery life has decreased over time, that could be one sign. And it also may not be present within the normal battery stats with Android. We need to install an application that specifically searches for wake lock issues. Let's install wake lock detector. You know, TK already did a great app overview of this and I will not recreate the wheel here, but what it does, it shows the application and the amount of time it's being used. There are several tabs here you can utilize to see what's causing it. You can see which one's turned on the screen, you can see how many times your CPU was woken up and also the amount of times it's happened. So this application is a real good diagnostics tool to use to figure out what exactly is waking up your phone. So now you have a little information about it, but the next question is, what can I do now about it? Well, if you're rooted, you do have a few options. Option number one is obviously remove the application you found is causing issues. Option number two is use Greenify. As always, this application was already covered by XDA Developers TV, so I'm not gonna get in too much, but the application allows you to hibernate applications that will not wake your device or even pull the information unless you launch it. Listen, Slick Deals wakes up my device over 200 times a day to look for new deals. And yes, I have deal notification turned off and it still pops up all the time. No idea why. So there you have it, folks. Hopefully you understand what a wake lock is and hopefully you're able to resolve your issue and. Let's see if these battery lives increase. And if you're not rooted, the only thing you can do is uninstall. I wish there was more options for you, but you're on XA Developer TVs for God's sakes. You should be rooted in the first place. And you know, I think devs should really pay attention to their application and how they behave. Not just how they interact when you're using it, but how it interacts with the system while you're not using it. I think that's just important 
comparing it to the UI and all the other goodies of the application, what about some longevity of the, of the application, the program? Allow users to use your program without killing their phone. I think that should be the number one thing on a developer's list, in my opinion. As always, guys, my name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. Make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to XDA. There's a ton of great videos and some new stuff coming up really soon. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm The Tech Ninja. The link is in the description below. And that is it, folks. See you around. And to all the people that support the Tech Ninja on XA Developer TV, I just want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me.